Well, people who have been forced out of their homes often resort to living in their cars. Mm -hmm. The Colorado Parking Initiative has been trying to create more options for them. Yeah, having a safe place to park overnight can help people eventually get back on their feet. Well, now the money to help that initiative is gone. Denver hmm. 7's Veronica Acosta joins us this morning with how the organization is trying to keep this program alive. Well, you know, the Colorado Safe Parking Initiative, it operates 13 of those safe parking sites. That is all across the metro. Two of them are right here in Denver. So a $600,000 contract extension would have helped the organization have more of those sites right here in town. Instead, those organization leaders, they're left scrambling a bit, trying to figure out how they're going to make things and ends meet and how they're going to keep this going. So it just means that people are probably going to stay homeless a little longer. Um, may become a little more homeless. If their vehicle's not working, we actually can't accommodate them. So they may fall out of one of our lots and end up in a, in a deeper homeless situation. And among those people currently using the safe parking sites is Matt Lash. He's just one of the residents at this specific site where we are this morning. He ended up living in his car after a work comp situation that led him to be evicted from his home. He, like the initiative's executive director, told me he's upset they won't get those additional funds because that's money that would have helped continue paying for vehicle fees for those who park at these sites if they need them. And Brian Nicoy reached out to the city about those redirected funds. They say they are, quote, still committed to the Colorado Safe Parking Initiative, and they're trying to figure out how they can make anything work, how they can make this work, if they can get them any kind of additional funds mm -hmm. in the future. Veronica, thank you. Uh